coordination with the government of Iraq, we're deploying a specialized expeditionary targeting force to assist Iraqi and Kurdish Peshmerga forces and put more, even more pressure on ISIL. Old promises coupled with new forces, America's reaffirmed commitment has not received the warm welcome expected from all of Iraq's power brokers. The country's all-powerful militias have promised havoc for the special elite units which Washington hopes to see trickle across Iraq's borders in coming weeks. These special operators will over time be able to conduct raids, free hostages, gather intelligence, and capture ISIL leaders. Qatar of Hezbollah spokesman Jafar Hussein warned that his group will chase and fight any American force deployed into Iraq. Secretary of Defense Ash Carter specified few details about the force but stated that it would be somewhat larger than that sent out to Syria. And yet without the Iraqi Prime Minister's seal of approval, the US can do little more than beef up its rhetoric. Mr. Abadi on Tuesday sang a different tune than that heard in the past 12 months, stating that his country was not in need of more foreign ground forces whilst praising the popular crowd and special units. Other than American soldiers, the Iraqi government has welcomed Tehran loyal militias and Iranian commanders into its ever-widening battlefield since the fall of Mursa last year. But Qatar of Hezbollah will not be the only adversary to face the U.S. The stance adopted by Assar of Ahl al-Haq is near identical in their distrust towards America since its invasion began 12 years ago. Like electrons in an orbit, these pilgrims have gathered in the holy city of Karbala to commemorate the loss of Imam Hussein. Other locals, however, appear busy cleaning and tidying up the streets for visitors in absence of municipal services. The effort is neither state-backed or funded, but is something which in its origins began as a grassroots initiative, kick-started by youth activists. <laughs> توعوية بقدر ما هي خدمية لزيادة الحرص على النظافة من خلال التوجيه النفسي من خلال النظر إلى الأشخاص الذين يقومون بهذه الأعمال. Their message is directed to visitors and pilgrims to take greater care of the city and to help the municipality by clearing up after themselves. This 60-year-old man offers similar assistance in Karbala against the backdrop of an inactive government and the struggle for enhanced civic sanitation. Passers-by have commended the energies they have invested into keeping the streets clean. They make up for the widely felt absence of vital services which propelled many onto the streets of Iraq in previous months to demand changes. And still, it is not the country's municipal services cleaning the streets, but its own people polishing public walkways and the routes leading to Karbala, keeping their country healthy and clean. Such efforts are finding greater expression in a country where the state has withdrawn from its civic responsibilities in schooling, health, garbage collection and disposal, among other things.